Welcome to this video on measure names and measure values. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. Have you ever wondered what measure names and measure values are? These are fields that Tableau automatically creates to enable certain types of analyses. Let's make a classic text table. We'll bring a dimension, like category, to the rows shelf, and another dimension, order priority, to columns, and finally, a measure, shipping cost, to text. And there we have it. But what if we want to see multiple measures instead of just one? For instance, if we want to see sales and profits for each of our regions, how would we do that? Okay, we'll bring region to rows and sales and profit to text. Hmm, this isn't what I was imagining. I wanted to have my measures next to each other in a column each, like in Excel, not two marks in the same cell like they are here. But Tableau uses different logic than Excel, and the functionality of measure names and measure values allows for greater flexibility when dealing with different data structures. Remember with our first table, the columns were set by the dimensions, order priority, with a column for each dimension member. To break sales and profit out into their own columns, we need a dimension. That's what measure names is for. It's a dimension whose members are our measures. We'll remove sales and profit from text and bring measure names to columns. It says no measure values because measure names and measure values work hand in hand. Measure names can be thought of like the labels for the measures, so we need to have values associated with those labels. We'll bring measure values to text. By default, all measures are brought into the view, and they show up on a new measure values card. We can simply drag off the ones we don't want. To bring out only specific measures to a measure value card, we can control click the measures we want, along with the dimension, and then, using Show Me, select Text Table. This automatically brings out measure names and measure values to the appropriate places with just the measures we selected on the measure value card. Measure names and measure values are useful for more than just text tables. Here we have a line chart of sales broken out by segment. If we want to compare all the segments together on the same axis, we simply move the dimension to color. And now we have all three lines together. But what if we want to look at three measures on the same axis? We can dual axis too, but not the third. So how can we get three measures in the same line chart? With measure names and measure values. First, let's bring measure names to the filter shelf. We only want to look at sales, profit, and shipping cost. These measures all have units of dollars. It wouldn't make sense to put discount, which is a percentage, on the same axis as profit, which is dollars. Now we'll bring measure values to rows and measure names to colors. Note that we only get the three we selected in our filter and it's three measures on the same axis. Measure names can also be used to provide labels for text tables. Here we have region on rows and sales on text. The word region appears above the regions, letting us know what these are, but there's nothing similar above the numbers. How can we easily display the field labels for the measure? If we bring out measure values and drop it on top of the sales value, measure values will replace sales on text. Measure names will automatically appear on the filter for only sales, and sales will move to the measure value card. And more to our point, the label sales appears above the column of numbers. To come full circle, if we wanted to add more measures to this table, we could simply add them to the Measure Values card. Now that we understand why Tableau is using measure names and measure values, 
Hopefully you have a greater understanding of how to put your new skills to use when building pivot tables and controlling visualizations in Tableau. Thank you for watching this video on measure names and measure values. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.